Luigi! Just get out of here!
Long ago, there was a man, the first real wizard, Arcanium the Powerful. He had ended the barbaric wars that had plagued men for countless years, but at a great cost. He destroyed the crystal that had held the world in balance. The world was divided into endless multiple dimensions. From this moment, he began to fade into pure ethereal energy. He left the world in the care of his two sons, Merlin and Nox. After giving them what little magic he had left, he vanished. Merlin then learned how to manipulate and control the magic in ways their father never imagined controlling the fabric of space and being able to control objects with his mind. Nox, the younger, grew jealous. He bastardized the magic, allowing his greed to control him. Eventually, the two fought, and Merlin was victorious. Nox, in his weakened state, allied himself with Ganon Dragmire, the demon of Hyrule. Alone, Merlin continued to shepherd his family towards the good side of magic. And today, his youngest heirs, Mario and Luigi, continue the struggle for good. This is the legacy of the oldest magical family in the world. Our story begins with a man named Rathnar, the son of Ganon, who had come to the world to exact revenge on Mario. With the unwilling help of Rosalina, they reunited other Rathnars to fight on the side of evil. To counter this, multiple versions of Mario had come to fight on the side of good. However, after the near death of Luigi, and hearing about what may happen to him in the future thanks to the Plumber Knight, Mario fell into a deep depression. It wasn't long after that that the Rathnars had attacked Mario's home. Everyone panicked and scrambled. Ironically, one friend was lost. The one known as Rathnar Alpha had shot and killed DK. It's been two years since that day. And now, Mario, trying to live a normal life as Michael Camarelli, hasn't seen any of his old friends for two very long years. Not even his brother Luigi. The Rathnars were victorious, but unsatisfied, for their enemy is still alive. Training you has been neither easy nor enjoyable, but I dare say we're getting somewhere. This is your final test, Prime. You are nearly ready for the battle to come. I've been ready, Omega, and I intend to prove it. You may yet prove to be my equal. I say that with a mix of pride, surprise, and perhaps disgust. There's no doubt you've grown strong, Prime. Now, once more. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha 
You've performed adequately, Prime. You're finally demonstrating the ability to read an opponent in battle. Perhaps you will survive another encounter with our enemy after all. Ah, I will only need one more chance to finish this and enact my vengeance. A plan we've delayed for far too long. I've passed your frivolous tests. Now it's time we hunted Mario down. Again, you cling to old habits. As I've told you countless times, Mario and his friends will return. It's been over a year. They've clearly abandoned this hovel. And I can only take so much more of your pretentious prattling. Alpha is doing his job, and you would do well to remember yours. He's done well to keep tabs on Mario and all his friends. They are scattered, angry, and scared. But they are losing steam. All the more reason to hunt them down now, before they can regroup. You have become a passable swordsman, Prime. But you still have the subtlety and forethought of an inebriated Goron. Do you intend to ambush them? No. They will no doubt learn of your presence and prepare before you arrive. You will charge into an unknown and unfamiliar circumstance and you will be slaughtered. Just as you should have been when you first arrived and decided it was a good idea to challenge Mario and the Hero of Time simultaneously. I guarantee that Mario will not spare you this time. Goddess be damned! I am not a child, Omega, and your plan doesn't make any sense. If we don't act soon, they will have all the time they need to prepare. You may not feel strong enough to face our enemy, but I do. I will end this swiftly and put an end to Mario and his friends. You can wait here and rot if you lack the conviction to avenge our father. If you are trying to provoke me with petty insults, then you are wasting your breath. Any animal, any prey, fights harder when you corner it. If you intend to fight Mario in his most desperate state, then you will repeat the final error of our father. Ah! At this impasse, I will offer you nothing more. You may do as you wish, Prime. <laughs> That's it then. I am not our father, and I am absolving myself of the responsibility to keep you alive. And I grow tired of begging you not to make tactical blunders. Enact whatever plan you see fit, Prime. Fine. Your inaction will feel foolish when I return with Mario's head. Hmm. It may be time to finish restoring Father's armor. We will need it sooner than expected. Feed me an orange. What? Hey, Mario. Daisy! Finally found you. Daisy, I... I've missed you. I've missed you too. Daisy, I... There's a 
There's no need to explain, Mario. I know why you did what you did. Luigi almost died. Your life hasn't been as easy as your enemies might think. I was... irresponsible. You were vulnerable. And Rathnar took advantage of that moment of vulnerability. And... Pauline... Pauline is doing okay. She's living back with her parents in New Dong City. That's good. I know it wasn't your fault, Mario. And someday, I know that Pauline will come to understand that as well. Daisy. I haven't seen you in two years, and... I've come to realize something. I know. Me too. But right now, we have to focus on killing Rathnar. Rathnar? Daisy, I love seeing you again, but why must we confront them? They got what they wanted. They took the house. I'm out of action. They won. No, Mario. They are still plotting to kill you. And they will find you. You must be ready to face them. I've never had a problem killing an enemy that needed to die. But I couldn't kill Rathnar the first time, and when the three of them attacked the house, I couldn't kill him then either. I've lost my edge. They tried to kill you. They tried to kill Luigi. And they killed DK. You have to kill them. I'm just... so ashamed. Mario, you're one of the strongest people I know. And I mean... Emotionally, it's time for you to come out of the shell and be yourself again. Okay, Daisy. I will train, and I will get back in shape. That's what I want to hear. No one else is going to die. Rathnar is going down. It's time to cut out the pasta and do some cardio. Montage? Yes, but before that... Why did you give me this? I didn't give you that. Weird. Huh. Luigi, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Listen, I think I've got the Rathnar's routine figured out. I'm almost ready to make my move. Well, what about me? It's imperative that you find your Mario. I can't kill all these guys myself. But I've looked everywhere. I really don't think he wants to be found. <sighs> I know it's been rough, 
and I know it's been a long time, but trust me, he can be restored to his old self. I know. It's just that... Donkey Kong. That wasn't Mario's fault. DK chose to save his life. Pauline just blames Mario because he was there. What else could she do? She was so full of hate. She'll probably never get over the loss. DK didn't even have a ranged attack. I've never seen anyone pick up a gun, aim, and shoot someone faster than that alpha guy. His precision was perfect. I've never seen anyone shoot like that. Not even Snake. No one could have saved DK. Not even Mario. Mario just fell apart. I know I've told you this countless times, but you must find him. I'm too old to take out Rathnar Prime. And he has clearly grown stronger, even stronger than Omega. And I still haven't completely recovered from death. Not even after two years. Mario is stronger than he knows. Trust me, Luigi. How much do you know about the Earth Crystal? Only what Mario told me. Some huge crystal that broke up into pieces thousands of years ago? <laughs> Some crystal. You've seen this crystal before, or at least part of it. I have? In my universe, I found Merlin's journal. In it, I found many things, including that the crystal broke into three pieces, one of them being the True Stone. The Truth Stone? But Merlin hid that somewhere. Ha! <laughs> Actually, he gave it to Wario for safekeeping. I heard that one from your son. Wait! What?! <laughs> Never mind. My point is, you find Wario, you find the True Stone. Wario? I can't even find Mario! Now, about my son... Whatever you're thinking, stop. You don't end up with Daisy. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Yeah, let's move on. So, you know Mario's red hat? It's made from the fibers of one of the crystals. So actually, Mario's been wearing one third of the crystal this entire time. Wow, that's crazy. Yes, other than natural talent, that's why he's always been stronger than you. Oh. The third part of the crystal, that's the real tricky one, because it was forged a long time ago into the sword Excalibur. Excalibur? You mean the sword of King Arthur? Yes, well, Merlin did get around, didn't he? It would probably also surprise you to learn that the sword was forged by his wife. Merlin had a wife? You are his descendant. Does it really surprise you that he was married and had children? Where do you think your parents came from? Or do I really have to explain that? Uh, scratch that. I'm not having that conversation with you. Anyways, she was the one known as the Lady of the Lake. The sword has been in her care ever since the ancient days. You mean she's still alive? Yes, I believe she is. But Plumber Knight, you still haven't told me. What will happen if Mario has the complete crystal? With the energy of the world crystal, Mario will be almost unstoppable. He'll be faster and more powerful than ever before. And if the Rathnars have discovered Ganon's ultimate armor, it will be the only way Mario will be able to defeat them. Also, it wouldn't hurt to add a little dark ethereal magic in there as well to enhance those fireballs, if you know what I mean. Where can we get that? The darkness. He's around somewhere, plotting his crimes against Feral City with the Goomba army and Jekyll. So I've got to find the darkness too? Yes, I'm afraid it's all up to you, Luigi. Find Mario, Wario, the darkness, and Excalibur. I'm counting on you. You can count on me. Good. And, uh, don't come back for me. Huh? I'm going to make my move against Omega soon, and I don't want you involved. It's going to be too dangerous. Just find Mario and prepare him for his battle against Prime. Oh, and uh, lose the overalls. I, you've got to be as inconspicuous as possible. Oh, and uh, lose the accent. Trust me, it, it'll make things easier when you're sneaking around. Just, just go. Wait, Luigi. Thank you. At 
last I'll finally be able to make things right. Mario. Mario. Merlin? I need to show you, Mario. One thousand years ago. Merlin! Hello? Is someone there? Merlin. Yes? I am Merlin. It's been so long, Merlin. Do you know who I am? I don't want any trouble. If it's a fight you seek, I assure you I am not interested. So wise as usual. Truly, it was always intended to be you who would protect these lands. Stranger, speak your name. <laughs> I am no stranger. It has simply been so very many years. My son, I am Arcanium, your father. Uh, Daisy? Sorry I woke you, it just looked like you were having a bad dream. I was. I saw Merlin, and he was talking to his father. Merlin had a father? I heard his voice, he said it was important, but I, I don't know, I don't know why. Thanks for meeting with me, Kamek. It's no problem, Luigi. Uh, what happened to your goggles and cape? Um, it's called a disguise. Better than the crap you're wearing. Huh. Yeah. I was so used to wearing my overalls, I guess I forgot I was wearing something else. Let's cut to the chase. Why are you here? Well, as you know, Mario is missing and I've been looking all over for him. Mario is missing? I didn't know that. I guess that's why Bowser hasn't gotten any of those letters back. Oh, well, just between you and me, Mario never really replied to those letters anyway. I see. Also, when is Bowser gonna discover email or Facebook? Oh, wait a minute. I do not want a friend request from Bowser. An interesting idea. Perhaps I should try this. Facebook. So you have no idea where Mario is? I'm afraid not. We also haven't heard from Nox Decius in years. Nox Decius? He's been dead for a long time. Ah, well that explains that. Well, crap. I don't know who else to go to. Have you tried Scott Masterson? Masterson? Why would he know? Ah, he sent us an angry letter a few years ago. Something about reinforcements to take you guys out. Of course, we refused. Oh yeah, he did say something about that. Ah, you stupid Mario brothers. You haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back with reinforcements. Yeah. Maybe he found a way to take Mario out. No way. Mario would never be taken down by that two-bit criminal. He may know something. Just pay him a visit. Do you know where he is? I'll write down his address for you. He's been hanging out in the mountains. The mountains? Interesting. Yes. As soon as you find those boxes, we can infiltrate Konami. Yeah, but Snake, I just gotta ask, what are we doing here? Cause you know, it's been like two years! You don't understand. Konami is the sneakiest company. They'll see me coming a mile away. We need to be 100% ready. Okay, Snake, whatever you say. Wait. What? Sorry, I thought I heard something. 
You don't think we've been found, do you? No. But you're right. We need to make our move. Soon. Awesome. Scott? Mr. Masterson? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's unlocked. Scott? Mr. Masterson? Hello? Nobody's here. Come here, Luigi. Ah! I know why you're here. You do? You're looking for Mario. But... I'm not an idiot. I know what's going on. You know that Mario's been missing for two years, The Rathnar has taken over the house, and that we need the crystal to take him down? Yes! Of course I knew all that! And no, I didn't think that you were looking for Mario because he found me first and you were teaming up to kill me. So Mario isn't here? No. I haven't seen him since the last time I tried to kill you two. I thought that... maybe... Thought that maybe I had bested him? No! I've given up trying to kill you guys. I've been up here in the mountains working on my true love of carving wood into animals. You mean you made that dog out of wood? This is a real dog, you dunce! Well, wait a minute. Are you just hiding here from the IRS? All right. You got me. I've been up here for two years trying to avoid that Tom Brady character. And yes, I know he's not the football player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice clothes, by the way. Giving up overalls? Well, I couldn't walk around in them with three Rathnars looking for me. Three Rathnars? It's a long story. Well, I'll tell you what. I have here the address of someone. A guy who looks just like Mario. Where'd you get that? Michael Camarelli is his name. I saw him walking around the other day, and I just happened to see him walk into a house. You followed him home and wrote down his address. I don't criticize how you spend your free time. Now here's the address. Get the hell out of here before I get angry. Okay, I'm going. Huh. Now back to my afternoon. Mario, you must see. Stranger, speak your name. <laughs> I am no stranger. It has simply been so very many years. My son, I am Arcanium, your father. Father? It, it's been... Eons, I know, I know. I thought you dissipated. Oh, oh, I did, I did. But I am using what little power I have left to return to you now in this vital hour. So then you must know. Nox, he betrayed the family. He's been working with Ganon Dragmire. I, I know. And as much as it pains me, Merlin, I trust you will deal with the situation as appropriate. However, that is not why I have come for you this day. What is it, Father? You've become such a great wizard, my son. 
much better than me or I ever was. I saw you even perfected the beam sword. I couldn't be more proud. So you've been watching? I have. I have seen you train the young Arthur boy, and I foresee what will become of my descendants. I never imagined a poor farmer like me piercing that stone. All this guilt and responsibility. You have to know, I never wanted to go to war or become what I am. But here we are. At least I can say I have a son like you. A great man. Father, I, I couldn't have done anything without you. I taught you everything I knew. And you have become far greater than I ever was. What will become of you? I cannot truly answer that question. Someday you'll understand. When a wizard dies, his eternal being becomes one with the universe. I will continue to watch over you, my son. But I fear this is the last time we will speak. But why did you have to die? Unimportant questions will have to wait. For I am here briefly. And I have come to tell you one truth. One truth? Listen, do not speak. There will be trouble in the family in the future. Trouble? Every generation will bear children. Most will bear two sons, as I had born two sons. You and Knox. And forever will the two sons look alike. One like Knox, one like you. I don't understand. I'm not asking you to understand. Mario! Mario! Huh? You'll never guess who's here. Who? Hi, brother. Luigi. Uh, I'm... I'm so sorry. It's all right, Mario. I never blamed you. And I don't blame you for leaving either. Thanks, brother. Sorry I didn't wake you up sooner. He's been here for a while. It's just, you haven't had a good night's rest in days. Yeah. Daisy has filled me in on what's going on. Yeah. Finally gonna take care of that bastard. You're gonna need more than just getting into shape to take care of this guy. What do you mean? There's quite a bit I need to catch you up on. So, I need to unify the crystal? Yeah, pretty heavy stuff. I wonder if this is what Merlin was trying to tell you in your dreams. Maybe. So you have the hat, but where's Excalibur? I might have an idea on where that is. All right, but what about the true stone? <laughs> I'll just give Wario a call. Wait, you have Wario's number? Yeah, don't you? Uh, I must have forgot it. Ha! <laughs> Mr. Sherman, the park, one hour, goodbye. Sherman? It's as simple as that. So just like that, you're meeting Wario? Yeah, he's actually been helping me with stuff for a while now. Wow, I am pretty lousy at this detective work. But what about the darkness? Plumber Knight said we should find him too. Yeah, but who knows where he is? I do. Wait, what? I keep getting these really strange messages about oranges. I just get a really weird feeling about them. Uh, plus, they leave the address in the corner of every note. Wow. Yeah. Daisy, why don't you go to the address that's on the letters and bring an orange with you? Trust me, I'm gonna go meet up with Wario. Well, what about me? You stay here and look for my overalls and hat. Come on, let's go. I see. Giving me the boring job? Eh, oh well. <sighs> Mr. Sherman? Mr. Michael Camarelli? Do you have the stone? Here. Look at that. I'm so glad you found this. Me too. There's only one more thing now. Do you know where to go? I think so. When I was very young, Merlin took me to a lake in an ancient forest. 
He told me that one day, I would be the only one who would be able to find it. The Mystic Lake? So the stories are true? I hope so. And what happens when you have all three objects? Hopefully, the power to defeat all three Rathnars. Mario! Michael, you need my help on this. You almost died during the war with Ganon. I would never forgive myself if something happened to you. That's my choice. And what about Mona? Remember, she is pregnant with your child. Of course I remember. Listen, bud. I really appreciate all your help these last six months. But it's almost time for bloodshed. Please, do me a favor and stay out of it. <sighs> all right, Mario. I'll go back to Mona. Thank you. Once you get the sword, will you finally go back to the house? Yeah. And then I'll just be waiting. And you can get rid of this alias, too. I like Michael Camarelli. It lets me move around easier. <laughs> Fine. But don't tell me you changed your voice for this. You lost your accent a long time ago, Mario. Best accept that. <laughs> hey, Wario. Good luck. You too. I'll see you at the end. Darkness? Huh. Wonder who we had to kill to get this place. No one! The owners of this house are enjoying a two-week vacation somewhere in the Pacific. And yes, before you ask, I had to steal these clothes from the closet. I'm not powerful enough to make my own just yet. So you're just squatting now? What's it to you anyway? Do you have what I asked for? Yes. Then give them to me. That's it? Just one? It's all they had. I doubt that, but... Ugh, whatever. So, uh... Why aren't you? I could tell you that the vitamin C helps me retain my shape, or that the citric acid helps with my teleportation. Does it? Absolutely not! I just like the taste. All right, Darkness, you have your orange. Why do you want to talk? <laughs> right to business, I see. Well, you've no doubt been told by that old decrepit plumber guy all the terrible things I'm going to do in the future. Yeah. How did you... You're not the first person to pay me a visit. One of those Rathnar assholes came barging in here and told me all about my evil plan, taking over Feral City, the Goombas, this Jekyll guy, etc. They wanted me to join their team. You refused? They didn't bring me any oranges. Is that the only reason? No, of course not. Ugh, I'm barely able to retain my form power is weak. Why do you think in the Plumber Knight's future I took 30 years to attack? I don't know. You see, after my defeat at the hands of Nox Decius, my entire being went into a sort of shocked stasis. I stayed in Mario's head for a while and then left, probably too soon. I can feel my power returning, but much too slowly. Blah, 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 exposition, blah, 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 montage. What do you want from me anyway? You reached out to us, Darkness. Uh, yes, of course. Well, I've had some time to dwell on my past and my future, and I don't like it. This constant cycle of power. So then... Uh, I'll go back into Mario's head. He can access the power that I can't. Really? Just like that? My existence is forfeit anyways. And besides, I know you have the truth stone. So if I don't go into Mario's head, you'll just use that to imprison me, correct? Yes. Uh. 
<sighs> Being in that stone is worse than not existing at all. <sighs> Make sure Mario eats plenty of oranges. I will. Hey, what's wrong, Mario? Oh, I have a headache. Ah, good to be back. Hello, Mario. Ugh, darkness. I see negotiations with Daisy worked out. If you call being threatened to be put back in the stone negotiations, then yeah. The stone? I have the stone. Oh, well, cool. I would have still chosen to come in here. It was my choice. Well, if you just help me defeat Rathnar, that'll be it. That's good. After that, you can get out, stay in. I don't care. Deal? Deal! Oh, and... <sighs> yes, I will eat an orange every 15 minutes or suffer the consequences. <laughs> I had the craving the moment you entered my head. Excellent. This is going to work. Awesome. <sighs> Luigi, let Daisy know that I'm going to get the sword. And then, in about four hours, it's time to reclaim our house. It's showtime. We'll be there. Alpha, I presume you have news for me? It's been a pretty dull week, I'll say that. Mario and the other targets have been attempting to return to some semblance of normalcy. Their patterns are growing very consistent, and their isolation is taking its toll. No one is doing a damn thing. With one notable exception. Snake. Oh? What have you seen Snake doing? Ha! It seems Snake has been on quite the mission. He's been on the move for three days, doing his own tracking and scouting, it would seem. Quite amusingly, he's been hiding out in boxes given to him by a strange UPS man. He's not interested in us. He's got another target in mind. Does a corporation by the name of Konami sound familiar to you? <laughs> yes, yes it does. What's their story? Are they a potential threat? An asset? You could say that. Konami are prior associates of Snake, old enemies. While Snake is a capable infiltrator and a remarkable soldier, his single-mindedness was easily manipulated. Hold, hold, hold on, what? You're doing that thing again where you spout cryptic nonsense. Could you just get to the point? Snake has been led to believe that Konami has apprehended and imprisoned a former ally of his, Kojima. Quite simply, this is a fabrication. I sent Snake a letter some time ago to mislead him. It appears to have functioned as intended. Haha, <laughs> is that really the case? Well, that would certainly explain why he hasn't been making any progress. Indeed. In reality, Snake's ally Kojima is on an extended holiday in some far-off tropic. He was never missing. I needed Snake and Mario isolated from one another. Well, I would have said a plan like that was pretty stupid if you had mentioned it beforehand. But it appears to have worked. Exactly. All is happening according to plan. I suppose so. But gotta say, Omega, oh, I'm real, real, real tired of this cat and mouse game. I'm tempted to take after Prime and charge in. I shouldn't need to tell you that Prime's behavior is not an example you should aspire to follow. Yeah, he's a, he's a dumb kid for sure. I don't envy you having to listen to his edgy, angsty rambling. I would have shot him by now. But at least he hasn't been bored out of his damn mind hiding in a goddess damn bush for a month. Your patience is appreciated and will be rewarded. I'm altering your assignment. It's time to strike. I need Snake dead as soon as possible. Hot damn! I thought you'd never ask. And Alpha! It is imperative that Snake's death is evident. So make sure there's a witness. Mario needs to find out his friend is dead. I very much enjoy this plan, Omega. I haven't given you enough credit. Despite your corny, kabuki supervillain vibe, you're quite effective at what you do. It will be done. Snake will die. By the way, that old plumber guy is on his way to kill you. 
The Plumber Knight. Interesting. So, Excalibur, huh? Haven't seen that in about a thousand years. Of course, I was living inside of Nox Decius at the time. Hey, why aren't you talking? Oh, I see, in case anyone's around. All right, I'll shut up. There's only one reason you'd come to this miserable forest, Mario. That artifact of Merlin's can't help you now. You know nothing of Merlin! You can't even begin to comprehend his power, let alone his legacy! Admit it, Mario. You've come for Excalibur. Well, it's long gone. A work of fiction spun by fools. You think you've won? Well, you aren't even close. Keep trying to get your pathetic power-ups. Would you want to rematch? I'll be ready. Damn it! Darkness, did you hear that? I'm in your head, stupid. I hear what you hear. Right. This has to be the lake. Do I jump in or what? <laughs> What's so funny? Nox Decius stood right here many times trying to figure this out. He was never able to acquire Excalibur. Did Merlin really never disclose this very important detail to you? I, I remember he said I would just need to be here. Well, good luck, pal. <laughs> Is there a passphrase or a gesture I'm supposed to do? Hello, Mario. Oh. I am Lady Winifred of the Enchantresses. The Lady of the Lake. Your grandmother. Grandmother? Jeez, you guys really have to learn your family tree. Shall I extinguish that evil in your head? Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, he's, he's okay. Ugh. Your grandfather Merlin and I had so many plans for you. I grieved heavily when he passed. I miss his visits. Did Merlin come here often? Oh yes. We spent many days here together. Especially when you were running around in the Mushroom Kingdom. I also miss Merlin. I could really use his guidance. Oh Mario, he's guiding you this very minute. How do you think you knew how to get here? That's a good point. His ethereal spirit is always with you. I can feel his presence now. 
I've been having dreams about Merlin. And Arcanium? Ah, yes. Arcanium. Merlin told me all about him. Do you have any idea what my dreams could mean? I really think Merlin's trying to warn me against something. Only you can know. Merlin never told me about any warnings. Uh, I guess the answer will come to me. You must trust in Merlin, Mario. I do. Always. And I suppose you have come for this. Excalibur! The legacy of Merlin! No, Mario. The sword will help you, but it is not Merlin's legacy. No? No, of course not. Merlin's legacy is his family. You. This moment in time is for you to save the family, Mario. I will. I will not betray the legacy. You are a good soul, Mario. Protect your brother and your friends. Thank you, lady. I'll come back and visit. I promise. Goodbye, Mario. I will protect the legacy. So much for your grand training regimen, Omega. I bet you love this. You have once again set me up to fail, and now I will no doubt endure more and more of your endless self-righteous gloating. Your failures are your own prime. Most notably, your failure to take responsibility for your own numerous shortcomings. Until you do, you are not a warrior, but simply a glorified thug. Shut up! You would have had us wait here until we withered and died, old man! It is truly miraculous that you've managed to survive this law prime. In spite of your skill, or lack thereof, your luck continues to astound me. <laughs> Thankfully, your latest stunt did not compromise my plan. The pieces are still falling into place. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an obligation of my own to attend to in the fields behind the home. In the fields? What could you possibly hope to find out there? Alpha has reported to me that one of Mario's allies is on its way here. I intend to face him there. The first of many, no doubt. I have also completed my restoration of Father's armor. Seeing as your equipment is barely sufficient and frankly an embarrassing state of disarray, I've decided to give it to you. What? After all that, you're just giving it up? I thought you were rebuilding it for yourself. It was too vital a tool to pass up, but heavy armor doesn't suit me. It's far too cumbersome. Should suit your fighting style, if you can even call it that, better. That armor contains the Triforce of Power! The single most powerful relic we've brought to this world. And you're saying you simply don't want it? You've insisted that you should be the one to kill Mario. And I agreed to honor that request. A decision I've grown to regret. But regardless, I am a man of my word, and I have everything I need to accomplish my task. Your next conflict with Mario will doubtlessly involve one of your deaths. And if you fail again, with the Triforce at your disposal, I will simply retrieve what I need from your corpse and continue our task. Now, put on the armor before I change my mind. Uh, fine! The true and final battle will begin soon as anticipated. Destiny and redemption awaits. I don't need Omega! I don't need anyone! So much power!
Wait, Snake. All right, we got all the boxes. Are you ready to infiltrate Konami? Yes. Oh, yes. After countless hours of preparation, oh, it'll be time. Jesus. Hello, Snake. Who's there? Hello? Hey, it's one of those Rathnar guys. <laughs> How very perceptive of you, UPS man. Now take note as I turn this box-dwelling moron into dust. <laughs> you can't kill me. I've been spying on you for quite some time, Snake. I assure you, this will be quick. <laughs> we'll see about that. Pity you have to die. Oh wait. I don't care. Don't even try. The only thing I want Brown to do for me is shut up and stay still. <laughs> Oh, and Snake? Kojima is on vacation in the tropics. Your last efforts were all in vain. <laughs> Solid Snake. More like Swiss cheese in a minute. Farewell. Ah! Fast travel's a bitch, ain't it? <sighs> snake! Hey, Snake, are you okay? Yeah, I will be. All right, man, come on, let's get you up. Here. Wait, did he say something about the tropics? What? Where the hell are we? Somewhere far. You won't be able to touch Snake here. Uh, you idiot! How dare you interfere! <laughs> You're gonna get yours! You see, you guys probably thought I wasn't gonna appear in this story, but that's where you were wrong. I was carefully following you, Alpha, the entire time. Who are you talking to? Also, you've only been following me? Of course! I considered you the most dangerous enemy from the moment I got here. I've seen it all. You shadowing Snake, your talks with Omega, the embarrassing photos you took yourself from that party you were clearly too old to attend. What? Have you been on my phone? Yes. And shame on you! You son of a bitch! Oh, I never knew my parents. You Rathnar saw to that. <laughs> That's right. Prime stole you as a baby and put you in that hellhole. <laughs> ah, and I'll never get a chance to thank him. Thank him? Thanks to him, I now have all the hellish life experience I need to be confident enough to kill you all. It's so wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'm really gonna enjoy killing you. I've killed a family of death claws with my pocket knife. Who the hell are you? I'm about to show you why they call me the Alpha. <laughs> and I'm about to turn on Vats. <laughs> alpha my ass.
having fun yet, Alpha? What the hell is wrong with you? You're not even tired! Oh, well, you see, I live in an ozoneless, 140 degree atmosphere with toxic radiation. <sighs> it's a breeze here. Uh, why? Why are you like this? Oh, never mind. Uh, you got in a lucky shot. I'll have you know that my stats are maxed. In fact, I'm done with this battle. Baz is ready. All right, pistol. All right, got that. Now let's see here. Leg, arm, how about the head? Yeah. Boom, headshot. But wait a minute, he never told me why they called him Alpha. Ah, son of a gun! Didn't you forget something out on that field, Mario? The Beam Sword of the Darkness. You see, I've already been to your world, and I know what happened. And I am not just some magical entity that could be contained within a stone. No, you're not. But like him, you have a bad habit of talking instead of fighting. Arrogance won't help you, Mario, but have it your way. I'll make this quick and painless, old man. <laughs> One last asshole to rid the world of. <laughs> Oh. <sighs>
for backup, but it looks like I'm too late. Don't worry about me. You and your brother need to protect each other. We... we will. Never let him become me. You understand? Yes. You stay alive. Keep fighting the good fight. Yes. I promise. Luigi. Goodbye. Ready, Mario? I have to be. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. It's Snake. Snake? Mario. Snake! You sound hurt. Are you okay? I'm okay. Listen. About Rathnar. It's okay, Snake. We're here to finish this. Good. I'm gonna lay down now. Okay. We've got to let him rest. He's been through a lot. We'll get him after the battle. Let's go. Wow. Just as we left it. We're back. Oh. I'm getting another call. Oh. It's, uh, it's Mario 64. That's great news! Meet us back at the house ASAP. What happened? Alpha is dead. Incredible! Compliments of Mario 64. Wow, that crazy guy actually did something? Yeah, I know. Hey, it's Luigi. Come on, let's go. Mario! Luigi! Where's Rathnar? Well... Omega's been taken care of. Excellent. What about Plumber Knight? Well, uh, he... Oh, no. It's all right, Luigi. He knew the risks. He saved us all. I haven't seen Prime. Ah! <gasps> Why the hell isn't this crystal crap working yet? Maybe you have to activate it somehow. And where the hell is your power? Hey, I'm trying. <laughs> Holy crap, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Hey, 
crazy! Foolish girl. Trying to save you, Super Mario. The man who can never protect the ones he vows to protect. How is that ultimate power coming along? Mine is working just fine. Now that I have Dad's Triforce of Power. Darkness, this is not good. I could really use some backup. Uh, working on it, working on it! Switch with me! Uh, what? Do it! Hello, Rathnar. What? Darkness? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't really like Ganon, your father, and I've decided I don't really like you very much either. Uh, you hold your tongue, Snake. I didn't get a chance to kill Daddy, but Son is mine. Uh, die! Nice try! <laughs> It was a nice try, Prime Rib, but now you're overcooked. And now it ends. Huh? Mm. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> 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 I really hope those powers of yours are charged up, Mario, cause I'm out of here! Oh, that's a good Ori. You want more punishment? I can keep dishing. Can you feel it? What? Everything.
not a Gerudo. You're a human. <laughs> Why can't I kill you? Ah! Huh? Merlin? Mario. Where am I? What is this? In your head, Mario. Hi, Mario. Rosalina. I've pulled her in as well. We are all here now. Is this... a memory? Yes, mine. Merlin? Are you dead? I'll always be a part of you, Mario. Where's Darkness? I, I can't hear him anymore. He can't hear you right now, Mario. Neither can Rathnar. Time is frozen right now, Mario, so that we can see you and talk to you. Now, Mario, you will see what I have seen. Every generation will bear children. Most will bear two sons, as I had born two sons. You and Nox. And forever will the two sons look alike. One like Nox, one like you. I don't understand. I'm not asking you to understand. Please listen. If a son is ever born to our family that does not look of you, nor of Nox, but looks like me, that son will be a grave danger to all of mankind, but especially to himself. Himself? How? And I have so many other questions. What if a girl is born? Goodbye, Merlin. <sighs> father. I never again saw my father. He became one with the world, turned into pure ethereal energy. As I have now become. Merlin. Why did you show me this? What does it mean? Mario, you know in your heart what this means. Rathnar is your son. My son? How? I couldn't see this possibility before. It wasn't until the Plumber Knight died that I could clearly see the outcome. What the hell are you talking about? So you see, Mario. Just as Rosalina is the child of you and Peach in one reality, Rathnar is the child of you and Daisy. Me and... Daisy? Exactly. In the Plumber Knight's reality, Peach died. In order to prevent this, he told you never to return to the Mushroom Kingdom. And you never will. It doesn't save his Peach, but it does save your Peach. And by never returning, you form a romantic relationship with Daisy. And soon enough, Rathnar is born. But he's Ganon's son! Rathnar revealed himself to Nox Decius in one of the realities. But Nox knew that the experiment to give Ganon a son had been a complete failure. Rathnar also let slip that it was you, Mario, that kills Ganon. And so the Ganon and Nox Decius of that reality created the ultimate plan. In order to get revenge for his death, Ganon followed Rathnar into this reality, traveled into the future, and stole your baby. He stole your future son, and brainwashed him his entire life, training him to kill you. He had hoped you would kill each other, ending the Merlin bloodline. And that is why, Mario, you've never been able to kill Rathnar. Now you know. So then... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Nothing. Nothing? You see, Mario, I've been ethereal energy for quite some time now. After this moment, you will never see me again. For I will completely fade away. 
Merlin! It's all right, Mario. My spirit will always be with you. It will be all right, Mario. I tried to show you in your dreams this warning, but I wasn't strong enough until this moment. And it is my last. But now that you know, everything will be different. Different? It's your knowledge of things, Mario. That's what changes. Now that you know that Ganon will try to steal your baby, you can be prepared for him. You will stop Rathnar from becoming evil. So then what about the current Rathnar? You can't change what has been done. Everyone will remember what Rathnar did. But when we unfreeze time, the Rathnar that you know will disappear. He'll cease to exist. Exactly, Mario, exactly. You've seen Back to the Future. Merlin? Grandfather? Thank you. You're welcome. Be sure to use that sword against Ganon in the future. Goodbye, Mario. Mario, I will always be with you. Farewell. Merlin. Someday. Goodbye, my son. Can't feel. Mario. fire, and a long conversation. Do we even have beer? Alpha seems like the kind of guy that would have kept some in the fridge. Let's go check. Okay. <sighs> How many battles we've been through, old buddy? A thousand? 2000. So it's all over, Mario? Wario! I said I'd come back when it's all over, but sitting back was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Thank you, Wario, for everything. How's the baby? It's a boy. Congrats. Thanks. I think I'll raise him just to be normal. Like he grows up to be a news anchor or something? Yeah, something like that. It was a good run, Wario. It was a good run. It was no problem. The world is full of infinite possibilities. Any ideas? Nope. For once, I'm gonna go where the wind takes me. Sounds great. So you can hang up your overalls too? You know, I'm gonna kinda miss these things. But the world is just the next great adventure. So, how you two holding up? I'm all right. Me too. Good, good. So, you two? Hey, Luigi. Don't worry about it, Mario. I think it's awesome. You guys are great together. Thanks, Luigi. Thank you, Luigi. 
It's nothing I did. I hope the rest of our friends are okay. Or at least, most of them. Hey, I think in time, Pauline will forgive you. Time will tell. Does anybody know what happened to Squall? Oh yeah, he was able to find his way home. <laughs> Gee, that was almost a year ago. What about Linkle? Zelda was so furious with me about her. Hey, Zelda was wrong to get so upset with you. Ness found Linkle lost in the Lost Woods almost two years ago. She's safely back in Hyrule now. And how is Ness? I'm sure he saw all of this coming. Last time I saw Ness was almost a year and a half ago. He said he was needed in his own town and that everything would turn out okay for us. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna head back inside. All right, we'll see you in a minute. She can never know that Rathnar was her son. Your secret is safe with me. But after you guys have a baby, won't she recognize him when he gets older? No. No one saw his face but me. Huh. Good point. It would crush her to know the truth. Well, what are we gonna do now, Mario? You know, Wario asked me that same question. The answer, I guess, is live. Mario, let's make the most of life. Deal. Deal.